you have the message of life. But that doesn't mean you get to be a jerk. Being confident doesn't mean you get to be a jerk. Right? I want to tell you the story about a friend of mine named Timothy. Timothy was in my youth group. I was a youth pastor for a long time. And one night, I was a Wednesday night, I was setting up stuff. And Timothy got there early. Timothy was a seventh grader. And he goes, hey, Shane, guess what? And I go, what, man? he goes, today... I got persecuted like the Apostle Paul at my school because I was ministering. And I was like, oh, gosh, I knew Timothy. I was like, well, tell me about this, bud. <laughs> and he goes, all right, well, in my homeroom class, it's all guys. So my teacher got called to the office, so I said, here's my chance to proclaim a message. So I got in front of my class, and I said, everyone, listen up. I got three questions for you. And I go, Timothy, what were those questions? He said, I looked at this class of seventh grade boys, and I said, number one, do you guys get drunk? <laughs> Seventh graders. They're like, no. He goes, ah. Well, number two, do you guys get high? <laughs> Seventh graders. They're like, no. He goes, ah. Well, then do you chase wild women? <laughs> These seven seventh graders. They're like, no. And I go, well, Timothy, what got you in trouble? And he goes, what I said next. I was like, what's that? And he goes, well, I looked at him and go, well, you all should because you're going to hell anyway. All right now, listen. <laughs> I do not suggest that form of evangelism, all right? So do not go to work in the morning, clock in, and go, all right, I'm in my mission field. Everybody gather around. Gather around, all you sinners. Turn or burn, turn or burn. All right, no, it's not helpful. But we are called to a ministry of life because we've been called to a message of life, and we must open our mouths. Hear me, one of the greatest injustices in the world is to have the message of life and refuse to share it with those who are walking around you spiritually dead. 